Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about Seagate Barracuda hard drive analysis, repair, and data recovery. This picture shows the front and the back of a Seagate Barracuda 3TB hard drive. This picture shows where to locate the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the PCB board number for this particular model number hard drive. For every type of PCB board, the PCB board number location is quite different. Some on the edge, some in the middle, some uh, even inside of the board. If the board number is inside of the board, you have to take off the board to read the number. And also, there are some boards, the board number are so tiny that you have to use the magnifier to read it. Maybe this is uh, because the board number is used for the manufacturer only, not for the end user. But in reality, we do need this board number to find a donor board to rescue a hard drive. We are going to use these two pictures to talk about the basic functions of the PCB board and the hard drive case, and also talk about some quick fix solutions. Picture one is the hard drive case after removing the PCB board. Picture two is the PCB board. We are going to use the red circle number as sequence to talk about them one by one. 1. Main IC, also called CPU. On the picture 2, under the red circle 1, is the main IC. And if you take a close look, you can see a heat sink pack on the top. The corresponding part on the hard drive case is also under the red circle 1, is the heat sink built in with the hard drive case. That means this chip will get hot when the hard drive working. So keep the hard drive cool is always a good idea. In other words, if the hard drive get overheat, the hard drive probably uh, will not work properly. 2. Motor IC On picture 2, under the red circle 2 is the motor IC. The corresponding part on the hard drive case on picture 1, also under the red circle 2, is a heat sink. This is the motor IC's heat sink. This chip will get hot for sure when the hard drive is running. And uh, if the hard drive get overheat, the first victim is this chip. This chip is uh, very easy to be burned when the hard drive get overheat. 3. Actuator contacts. On picture 2, and the red number 3, are the contacts for actuator on the PCB board. On picture 1 and the red number 3 are contacts for the actuator on the hard drive case. The actuator controls the disk head to read and write from the disk. So these contacts are very important some cases, uh, for example, uh, the hard drive get watered or the hard drive was in the high humidity uh, condition for a long time. These contacts uh, may get rusty. For this hard drive, PCB board, if you take a close look on picture 2 and the red number 3, 
you can see the contacts already partially be rusty. So uh, cleaning the contacts sometimes can fix the problem if the problem is caused by the poor connection of the contacts. Four, motor contacts. On picture two, and the red number four, are the motor contacts. The corresponding part on the hard drive case, also under the red number four, are motor contacts. If the hard drive doesn't spin, cleaning the motor contact sometimes helps, but not always. Because if the hard drive doesn't spin, maybe because of the poor contact, or maybe because of the motor chip is burned, or maybe because of the disk or spindle stuck, and many other different reasons. So cleaning the motor contact only can fix the problem caused by the poor connection. After introducing the basic knowledge of a hard drive, we are ready to talk about the PCB board on the hard drive. The PCB board is a very important part on the hard drive. It controls everything on the hard drive. The hard drive transfer all the information through the PCB board. The PCB board sits outside of a hard drive without any protection. Most of the hard drive heat is generated from the PCB board, especially from the motor chip and the main chip. The chips on the PCB board are extremely high integrated by many microelectronic devices such as resistors, capacitors, transistors, and also this technology is called as SMD, that means surface mount technology. There are many reasons to cause the PCB board not working properly. So, we are going to talk how to fix PCB board to rescue a hard drive. One of the best, easy, and quick solution to fix the PCB board is to swap the PCB board. In order to swap a PCB board, the first step is to find a donor board. In order to find a compatible donor board, we have to know the compatibility of the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number to find a compatible donor board. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, 
we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out, or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.